In our creating assignments in Blackboard video, we talked about creating a Blackboard assignment, which is essentially a Dropbox for uh, students to submit files and uh, insert text. Um, and we briefly looked at SafeAssign, which is one plagiarism tool that's built into Blackboard. Um, so this video will take a look at Turnitin, which is another tool that we have available to all faculty on campus. Um, what you'll do is navigate to the content area or content folder where you'd like to place the assignment. We're going to use the uh, assessments tab and uh, we're going to select turn it in direct assignment. Earlier we used that same menu to select assignment. And this is going to look different but it's going to be pretty much the same information as a Blackboard assignment. Uh, so we have to title it. Uh, we can include our instructions here. Um, I, you know, submission method is really important for me. I don't, I want them to upload their file, um, not necessarily just text in a text editor. Um, you give it the number of points. The, the parts is, so if you've got multiple parts of the paper, I, I try to create separate assignments because I prefer that method of assigning grades. Um, the start date is when it's available when it's due and when the feedback will post for that um, particular assignment after you've graded it. Most of the settings are kind of set for best practice. Uh, if you have students that are doing research, you can try to, um, you can adjust these. So if you want to avoid the quoted material, um, if you're interested in grammar, you can give it a shot here. Uh, let's see. This determines what it's looking at. Um, I, I leave all of this as default. If you don't want to reveal the grades immediately, you can change that here. Um, by ignoring turn it in grades, you still have to enter a grade in Blackboard. It's leaving this to the default, which is no. Um, whenever you get the turn it in report on each student, um, you'll be able to grade and uh, provide feedback at that time. If you want to create a rubric, you can here, or that could be part of your instructions that you provide. Uh, if you want students to see the report on their work, you can select this. And then if you plan on using this tool uh, going forward, you can save these as defaults. Uh, once you get it kind of the way you want, um, we'll click Create Assignment. And it's going to place it in that content area or content folder. And, oh boy, Blackboard's going so There we go. Um, and so what I'm seeing is kind of the page where as students start submitting, they'll list here with the title and the information about their uh, papers will show here, so their reports. And once you click on the student's name and their assignment, which I don't have any here, you'll be able to look at where that information comes from. Um, if you need to modify the assignment, it's going to be this modify button. Um, let's see the submit page. I'm not sure that we'll be able to see that as a faculty member. Um, this is just kind of, uh, so if you had to manually submit for a student, you could do that for them. Type their name, submission title, if it has a part, um, and the file. This is going to be big time if we have students that have trouble getting things uploaded to Blackboard or um, if they or if you choose to collect student work by email, this is one way that you can um, still use the plagiarism detection software um, in those ways of collecting student work. Uh, anyway, once we've got it set up, um, the the main, I guess the big difference about Turnitin is that you have to go to that Turnitin assignment to grade. Whereas if you use a Blackboard assignment uh, or Safe Assign, it all the grading is done within Blackboard. Uh, there will be a grading video that kind of breaks apart the differences, so look for that. Uh, but this is the general process for creating a Turnitin assignment, and Turnitin is one of our plagiarism plagiarism detection tools.